All right, so we've given the breaker bar and a pry bar a try. We've given a um, impact the try. Now it's time to bring out the heat gun because I don't know what else to try. So here we go. Gonna try and put some direct heat on that baby and see what happens. Hopefully she'll come loose. All right guys, so interrupting this video. We just had a great drop off Thank you. Thank you delivery guys for signing the hood of the Corvette I know it's not every day that you get asked to sign a Corvette hood However, here we are still heating this built up. I found a way to just let my heat gun sit there So we're still going at it We're gonna give it a test here uh, after I get another set of hands here. Oh It's That's right okay. There. It didn't blow away Holy crap guys, Dylan and I just figured it out. We've literally, I kid you not, been throwing everything at it. Threw some PB blaster on it overnight, sprayed some more on it today, and finally, no impact, got it. We actually ended up breaking like three different extensions. However, that bolt is out. And Man, am I ready to just chuck this, but I kind of need it, so I can't just chuck it. So, I want to tell you guys how we did that, and what we ended up using was a 15-16 deep socket here on a breaker bar. And so what I did is I set it up here. Well, hang on. Let me switch hands. I put the breaker bar right up in here in between the brackets there and then lift it up and stuck it right there on the on the uh, bolt and so that was gonna hold it because this goes clockwise so we needed the bolt to go counterclockwise or stay stationary then we came up in the Corvette here we took her pretty old key and turned it now, before I turned it, before I turned the key, I unplugged all the spark plugs because I didn't want it to actually turn on and run. So that is the way to break loose your harmonic bouncer, crankshaft bolt, whatever bolt you want to call it. That old girl right there that's been, what, two day, three day process? Two, two day process of getting this thing out. Now we're out and we're gonna move on to the next step which is the Chrysler pulley time. The Chrysler puller, come on, puller, puller, pulley puller. I'm gonna pull her, that's what's gonna happen. All right, so we got this guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it all ready. Oh man, that was exciting. So let me go ahead and get this ready, get it hooked up and show you guys what to do next. Okay, so now we got our puller on here and Dylan's got a little pry bar up there just to hold the puller still. And as we wrench on this, it is slowly but surely coming forward. Took a little bit of work, but we got her coming. Just like that, we've got her out. And just to give you guys a little better view, this comes around, claws onto there. And then we just have a, we have a little extension sticking in there to spin on. So that did it. But this is why I said my balancer is bad. Now we can get a close up view. And it kind of looks like the middle ring in there, the rubber ring in there started to just melt away. And on this back side here, which we could not see, it just started to rip. I mean, I just ripped that piece out. So definitely bad gonna make for a cool trophy maybe we'll see in out with the old in with the new let's go all right so for this we got a little bit to clean up in there first so if you guys enjoyed the video or the video helped you out on taking the harmonic bouncer out of your ls1 or your c5 corvette please leave a like 
drop a comment down below let me know if it did help you and if you haven't already click that red subscribe button we will catch you guys in the next one have a great day baby daddy what <laughs>